blower fan here is pretty dirty. It's running kind of rough. I'm going to show you how we can take this out, clean it, put it back in and get it running again without I spending a ton of money. You don't need a service guy for this. You can do it yourself. <laughs> dirty inside there. I think that fan blower has got to get cleaned out. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you how to get this off. Get this out of there. A lot of wires here. I'm gonna go shut off the power. Both at the switch and at the breaker. These things run on 220 volts. Single phase. Single phase? Single phase. So you don't know where the power is coming from. Okay, so the power's off. The blower is going to be behind this control panel, so we're going to get that out of here first. Things first. Now over here, we got a whack of wires that are coming from the motor. Right there, this this bunch of wires is coming from the motor. Do yourself a picture. Do yourself a favor. Take a picture of all this wiring here, and unplug the motor. We got a white wire there. Got a yellow, a red, a blue, and a black. All of that goes back there. Okay, now everything's clear. Yours might be a little bit different than mine, so be careful when you're doing this to make sure that you get everything all in one shot. I can see from underneath here that there's a couple of screws that are holding this electrical panel in place. Leave that up there. There's another one here. I'm just gonna tuck this up here out of the way. Excellent. Okay. Next. Let's have a look in here. Right here. Can you see it from there? You see this screw? There's one here. There's also one on the other side in the same location. Can you see this? Right there where I just pointed? There's a shelf there. If we undo these two screws, the one here and the one on the other side, we'll be able to take this whole unit here and slide it all the way out. It's only one thing we have to be careful of, and that's this thing. This is a capacitor, and it holds a charge. So if we happen to touch the two wires that are coming out of there at the same time, <laughs> we're going to get whacked with a whole bunch of voltage. So that's the only thing right now we have to be careful of. So I'm gonna take those two screws out and we're gonna pull this sucker out. Okay, so I got those two screws out. Now simply slide this out. Don't snag any wires. And we have it out. Once it's out, you can see it's pretty dirty. So is the motor. We're gonna go outside, turn on the air compressor. And we're going to blow all this dust out of here. And that's going to do, it's really going to help the efficiency of your furnace because it's going to take less energy to move the air. Okay, outside we go. If you don't have an air compressor, you can use a leaf blower. You can use the blower function on a shop vac. Heck, you could even just clean out all the fins and vacuum it up. 
I like to use the air compressor. It's fast and it, uh, it works really, really well. It gets into the small spaces. You see this clip? Looks like a clip that's on the fin. There's some all over the place. Okay, do not take them off. These are weights that are put on in factory when, when it's balanced. And when it's balanced perfectly, the fan actually turns without any rattling, humming, vibration, or anything For of that nature. For most homeowners, I would recommend an air compressor as one of those must-have tools. A small portable one that's pumping out at least seven cubic feet a minute will enable you to do things like spray painting, brad nailing, and, and other small do-it-yourself little jobs. Put that on your Christmas list. Your significant other will surely buy you one. It's a good idea when you're out here. Check your wires. Make sure that they're not frayed or damaged. If they are, this is the time that you call a technician in and let him deal with the wiring on the motor. Okay, that's clean. Let's go mount it again. Installation is the reverse of removal. Leave the power off. You can never have a reason to put, turn it back on anyway. So I'm just going to set this in here. Now those little shelf that was there, I'm just going to slide this in until the back end catches it. Be careful not to touch anything that's going to hurt me. Slide that back in. It's got a natural stop at the back, so when you push it as far as it'll go, it'll stop. And you take these screws and you put them back in the holes and start it by hand. Okay, that's there. Done deal. Wow, making progress. Next step. Now this had uh, had a couple of bent flanges here. And we're just going to take these flanges and we're going to slide them in the slots that are there. Don't be afraid to bend things if you have to bend them. Easy metal. And up it came. Nice. Alright, and the screws, they came out from the top, so I guess they're going in. Same way. Okay. Memory serves me right. This white went above this white. And the red and the yellow went here. The black went underneath it. The blue went beside it. The black. And then the red went here. You only get one shot at this. If you plug those wires in the wrong spots, your motor could fry. So we got everything in there. I slide my furnace filter back in. Okay. Let's see if this is gonna work. Turn it back on. Hold on here a second. Fire. We got fire. So we got we got a full flame going here. We're gonna look through this hole. You can see the light. The light saying that uh, everything's connected down there. That light is flashing for any reason. You need to diagnose what the flash pattern means. Um, and the only way you can do that is by knowing your furnace make and model. 
uh, and then getting the service manual for it. Otherwise, do what I do. Call a technician. I just think it's so awesome just watching the big blue flame. About big blue flames. <laughs> Keep checking this to make sure that it uh, hasn't turned on yet. I could have cleaned it so well that it's so quiet that you wouldn't even hear it. It is running. You don't even hear it. That's amazing. Okay, let's shut it off. That made a huge difference. Wow. So, uh, I'm glad you're as impressed as I am. Because I, I, I'm impressed. I'm impressed. So there you have it. A simple piece of maintenance that you can do yourself. And save a ton of money. A few things you have to remember. Shut off the power, shut off the breaker, mark your wires, be mindful of capacitors. I hope you got something out of this, I, sh I know I sure did. <laughs> Check out my channel, see what's around, subscribe, come back often. We got lots more coming up. It's summertime, God knows I'm going to be busy inside and out.